Hello and welcome, my name is Parky and today we're playing some more Spore! You may be back after last time, where we got through the majority of the Cell stage. Now you're back with me and the <laughs> dubbed Species X creature, which is possibly one of the derpiest looking cells in existence. Actually speaking of which, we just do a little change whilst I do the introduction. Hello there love, nothing like starting an episode with a bit of sexy cell time. Oh yeah, you're like my stalky eye things. Oh look at that, she just beat up that guy. Mid-sex, lovely. Good to know the woman can multitask. Actually I think we're the woman, someone said that. Anyway. <laughs> Today we're going to be getting into the creature stage. I asked everyone for their suggestions last episode as to the sort of uh, main features that our creature is going to have. And is this actually going to do anything? We've got this weird 3D creature creator in this, in, in this stage with this mod pack. I think we're just going to stick with the classic spikes all over the creature this time. And we'll go for a nice purple colour because someone said they wanted a purple creature. So yeah, we're going to try and incorporate as many things into this creature as we possibly can because I want it to be sort of like a, an accumulation of, of the community's efforts for these videos. Here we go. Ah, oh, it's a really lovely purple colour. Good thing that we're still a derp. And actually looking at this, we need to be right bang in the middle of the omnivore. And we are. So that's good. We're on track. And we can actually eat some of this plant material, so be a bit quicker to get to the end of the stage like this. But there is a big scary dude here, which is going to be a bad thing. And we just owned him instantly. But we need to suck creatures off in order to get their DNA points, we must remember. It's no good getting those meaty chunks. Meaty chunks do not help anyone. And it looks like we're almost, almost there. Oh look, our friend there is sucking on these eggs. It might be a good idea for us to do that as well. Actually, we want to be careful because I really don't want to go into the carnivore side of things. I think it'd actually be quite difficult for us to go into carnivore at this point. Being right bang in the middle of the omnivore is a pretty safe place to be. And especially with all these little bits of plants floating around. Oh god, we're the ones getting sucked off this time. What is going on? There's loads of these little weird spiny blue things everywhere. They've all like hatched from these eggs and being owned by everyone. Well, let's carry on eating them whilst we can. There's a nice little grouping of them here trying to eat that bit of meat. Their mouth parts just aren't big enough, unfortunately. But I'm really pleased by the amount of support that everyone's shown this series. I absolutely love Spore, and I love the fact that everyone's still into it. I think it's one of these games where no matter how much of it you play, there's always a really... There's so much to learn and so much to explore still. Love it. But anyway, let's carry on. There's a little plant mol molecule over here that we're going to pick up. And then once we've got this, we're going to go into the creature creator. In fact, should we just start eating these little ones for speed's sake? I think we might as well. In fact, are they even giving us any DNA points? Doesn't really look like it. Well, we'll go for this plant. And I think we only need one more item of food. And we're going to be evolving. So let's go for these... These seeds. I was going to say seeds. They're not really seeds at all, are they? All right, I'm going to suck on your butt and then we shall evolve. Because that's how evolution works, baby. Oh, yeah. Here we go. What is this? Brain? S cell has brain? Yes, cell has brain. Congratulations, you're on the path to sentience. Lovely. When it comes to swimming in sludge, you rule the pool. When you're ready to stretch your legs in the big wide open, click the advance button. Let's do it. Evolve legs and go to land. And we're right bang in the middle of Omnivore almost, which is pretty damn good for us. So, achievement get. This timeline shows a history of the actions you've taken during life as a cell. You've established a trait which earns you unique abilities that will benefit your future generations. Which path have you chosen? Well, we're going for the scientist, just as, just as a recap. So we're going to need to have two of these stages in the Omnivore branch and two of them in the Carnivore. So, I think what I'm going to do is... I, th I think we're going to go for... I know it's really boring, a carnivore in creature stage. I like to normally do a bit of a mix. Eh, I don't know, maybe we'll go for an omnivore. I'm not really sure yet. Okay, so let's first of all just sort out his legs. In fact, we could just sort out all of this, couldn't we? So realistically, we don't need all of these spikes. I think we're going to have to come back to this, though, because we haven't unlocked any of the land items aside from these legs yet. So let's just go for these ones. And we'll sort out the spine soon because we definitely do not want it to look like this. We've actually had a lot of really good suggestions, and I, I'm really excited to get them all incorporated. We're going to have a bit of a weird sort of hybrid creature thing going on, but I'll explain that when we get into the first mating screen. <laughs> Here we are, in a new world. Lovely purple. It's like a Pokemon, but a really messed up Pokemon. Never really saw it that way. <laughs> oh dear God, here comes the swords of our friends. Land pals, unite! 
I love our stork eyes. I might have to keep those as they look ridiculous. Reminds me of Gary from Spongebob. Gary. Welcome to land. Look at this beautiful new planet. Red seas and brown lands. It's the beginning of a new day and for you a whole new strange and wondrous world. Air fills your lungs as you stretch into your limbs and your new home. Dry land. The race to evolve has begun. Now you're a creature surrounded by your nestmates. To evolve, you'll need to meet the other species on this planet and earn DNA. Earning DNA moves your progress bar. Let's take a look. This bar shows your progress. Fill it by building relationships with other species or forcing them to become extinct. Let's go to your first goal. Okay, here's where you find your objectives. As this goal suggests, food is critical to your survival. Blah, blah, blah. I think we know how to do this. We can rotate the camera. You know what I love? I really, really love having to do this tutorial every time I play a game of Spore. <laughs> God damn it. So there's been a lot of changes that this mod pack makes to the creature stage. Now, I can't actually quote them off the top of my head, but I think if we just test this out, one of them gives us DNA for actually just eating things. It gives us three DNA, which is crazy, because that's going to make things a little bit quicker. Well done. To the victor, go to the spoils. You're on your way to a bigger brain and a smarter you. Fantastic. Now, I don't actually think that eating in the base game of Spore, Vanilla Spore, actually gives you any DNA points. I think it is literally just in this mod pack. It's not many DNA points, that is very true, but we can just en we can engorge ourselves on food of the world. And should we just mate summon flock ability we've got because we're an omnivore? Might as well do a mating call. Now who wants- who's the lucky man? <laughs> Where are you? Where are you, lucky man? Somewhere over here? Ah, oh, there you are! I've spotted you! And then eyes met from across the, the hordes of, of spore creatures. Their really messed up looking eyes twinkling <laughs> at, at the little tail worm. Oh god, this is terrifying. Actually, one of the things I want to mention also is that the nest size has actually increased. So the number of creatures at each nest in the creature stage is going to be almost double what it is normally, which is kind of a good and bad thing. It means that if we're going an aggressive stance, then we're going to have to kill a lot more of them in order to wipe out a nest, but it also means that there's more of them readily available to actually attack, because there's nothing worse than finding a nest and no creatures in it. Okay, so let's just start. We're going to get rid of these legs. Uh, what creature parts have we got available to us? Not much. We've got a few arms and legs. We've got a few hands, different hands and stuff. We've got a few attack items. I think these give us strike. So if we just get rid of those for now, I don't really care if we... You know what? We're just going to start fully again. we got an omnivore mouth. Just before I take this away, we do. Okay, right. So let's get rid of all of this. It's kind of like one of my Let's Builds, but let's just go for it. So, now the suggestions that I have, we've got um, a multi-headed which I think I want to do. Also a multi-limbed, but we're going to incorporate the colour purple, which I've already done, so there you go, the person who suggested that. But we also want it to sort of like walk like a snake. So we're going to have a really extended spine. Let's just zoom out if we can. We're going to need a lot more space for this. So we're going to have a long spine like this, and I think, in fact, we're going to need to make this even longer. So let's just do something like this. Bring the spine down like that. I actually kind of like how that looks. Okay, so we're going to have like a, a sort of a naga type creature going up like this and then if we just move the spine up like this maybe something more like this shape so we've got a bit of a, a sort of snail tail and then we're going to move the spine more upright and have a head up on top like this and in fact i might do the head in a slightly different way so let's just leave this as just part of the main body structure for now so let's make this a lot thinner so that it merges in a little bit better. Something like this, maybe. Getting a bit thicker on the chest area, because we want to make it sort of like a human, more humanoid-shaped chest, or at least give it a sort of shoulder width up here. And then we're going to move this towards the floor. Maybe it might be nice to have a little bit of a, a sort of wiggle in the tail as well, so that it, it seems more realistic if it would move along like that. Okay. And then we're going to make this a bit thicker up here, like this. Maybe making this a bit thicker as well. We can make this part of the body something like this. Don't need to be too fat though. Yeah, okay. Let's go for that. Now if you're not into the whole creature creation, then I do apologise. This, this episode is mostly going to be creating of this, but that's fine. I don't mind myself. It's one of my favourite parts of the game. So let's now go for the multi-limbed aspect. We're not probably going to go for legs of any kind. It might be worth it actually just for the speed. 
we go for like a little pair of legs down here, they might just look a bit weird. Let's just go for arms for now. We're going to go for uh, meekling graspers and we're going to go for a pair of these up here a little bit like this and we'll go for a second pair underneath that a little bit like this. Oh god. We want to make them a little bit shorter. So if you've got two pairs of arms then it's obviously you're going to need a bit more space on the top pair to reach over the bottom pair. So that's good. Okay. So now aside from that we're definitely going to need a mouth of some kind. It's going to be an omnivore mouth. Go for big lips. Maybe go for one of these or a beak of some kind. Maybe a beak. That might look interesting. Okay, so let's rotate this down a little bit like this. We're going to make it bigger. We're also going to maybe make it a bit more... Ooh, we could really make this look interesting, couldn't we? Maybe make it a bit like this. Like a big beaked head like that. It kind of looks like an insect head. I don't know why. Now, the eyes that we've got, we've got stalk gazes, which were the ones that I was going to keep, wasn't I? So you can go for something like this, maybe make them a bit bigger because I want them to look a bit chunkier and then rotate them around a little bit like that. Yeah! Okay, this is a good start. I like how this is looking. So we've got sort of a snail, multi-limbed, tick, purple tick, multi-headed. Hmm, not sure how we're going to do that. But let's go for the hands next because we want to maybe make this a bit more effective at the old attacking. Now, how much money have we got to deal with? We can probably remove one of these. We can go for these to give a stomp. I didn't even know that, that... Is stomp a new thing? I think it might be. So we've got pose and stomp, but health on these. I think we'll go for these because they've got the health aspect. And can we change how they look at all? Not really. And if we get rid of these, we can also put these on here. It's not going to help us in the long term having two sets of the same hands, but it kind of looks better. So we're going to go for that. In fact, actually, what we might want to do is just go for Strike instead. We can live without a second pair of hands for now. Strike level 2 would be good. So Stomp and Strike are separate. Interesting. We'd have Charge as well. Let's go for Strike. And I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll put Strike Claws on these bottom ones. Kind of like... They... I'll tell you what this reminds me of. Warhammer. It reminds me of the Tyranids. Because they have, like, the limbs with all the spiny bits on. I personally always played as the Necrons, so there you go. That's a little bit of a tidbit of information. So claw hands, and then out of here, this is pretty much all going to be health stuff. Can't really afford it for now. And we've had a brilliant name suggested, which I really liked. And it's going to be Xeno... If I can actually spell it, Xeno Derp. There we go. And it kind of fits in with the whole Tyranid thing. What is going on? Okay, he's definitely not something from Warhammer <laughs> 40k. He's far too cool and dangerous. I, I really need to like, learn not to make such really shit decisions with the uh, description of these creatures, but you know what, it's fine. We'll stick with this, and we can actually change how he looks a little bit more. We'll go for uh, some coat detail. Maybe something like the dots? How does the dots look? Oh, I like that, and if we make them like bright yellow... Yes! Okay, I love it. And also for the detail, maybe if we go for something like this one, and also go for a yellow. Ah, oh, yeah, I really like this. Okay, Xenoderp, welcome to the world! I feel like we've made really good progress, and this is going to be an interesting build. I really want to try and make something which isn't generic, that I've made before. Because I always tend to do the same sort of things. I always go for the humanoid shapes, I always go for... Just the same things over and over again. I think it's about time. Oh god, someone's died over here. Maybe one of these guys has eaten one of the uh, neighbours. <laughs> That's fine, it's a good start. Here we are. How do we move? Oh, I like it. We actually move kind of like a worm as well. And that little dip in there, I think, is helping. Oh, I love it. Okay, I think this is a really good start. So let's now carry on. We've got a little pile of bones over here. And of course, the creature stage is extended in this uh, mod pack as well. What's this? You've discovered a new part. Imagine the very cool stuff you find on even bigger creatures or skeletons. Now, probably what's going to happen here, click the mating call button to find your mate and enter the creature creator. Well, we've just done that game, thank you very much. We're well ahead of you. Probably what's going to happen here is I'm going to be looking for all of these skeletons everywhere, but completely walk past half of them, because <laughs> I always do it. <laughs> so ridiculous. Okay, we've got a mission to meet another species and also to find new parts to evolve. Now, unfortunately, with our current build, we are kind of slow. But what I want to go for is some sort of, like, heavily armoured creature. Because I think this would be really cool. Someone that, more like a tank creature. Something that can take a few hits, but really deal out the damage. 
Who's this? You've met a new species. Care to make them a friend or foe? Set your stance and get ready to sting, sing or snarl at your newfound neighbour. Your stance sets whether you will attack or play nice with another creature. Before you interact, click on the green button to make friends, or the red button to make dinner. Then use each ability button. Complete the cell stage has earned you a special ability. Use this button, blah, blah, blah. So this, the summon flock is possibly one of my favourite ones. I think what we're going to do is we're going to attack this guy. We're just going to get straight in there. We haven't got much health at the moment. And I'm going to try and use these keybinds because it'll be a little bit easier. But we haven't got much health, so we're going to have to be slightly careful here. Oh, what is this? It's like a... Is this like a part of a tree? Looks like a big fish, doesn't it? Oh, I can push it about. Lovely. Okay, so let's attack this guy as well. We haven't got a charge ability. I think a charge would be quite good, seeing as we're a bit of a slower creature. It would mean that we could charge into our foe, get there a bit quicker, and not miss out if they're running away. Okay, so where's this next guy? Oh, he's swimming away. Well, you don't want to do that, my friend, because there's the monster in the sea. I think that actually brings me on to another interesting point. I think in this mod pack, the sea monster has been disabled, so it doesn't matter how far out you go. Oh, wow, we actually just made them extinct. That was good. Achievement get again. We're doing very well. We've got 56 DNA points. This is now our nest. Damn it, we've taken over your homeland. There's a few more nests around us, actually, so let's just go towards maybe this one over here now. I would feel very scared if this creature was coming towards me. I think the big beak and the stork eyes... It is a bit scary, and like the claw arms as well. I love it. Okay, so the Dudas. We got to hunt only three of them. Now I think actually it's made it easier as well, this mod pack, to wipe out species. So my earlier concern about having to wipe out even more of them because there's more creatures in a nest is actually completely unfounded. And there's loads of uh, bones around here that I'm going to go for. But these guys, they're really running away from me, which is not helping at all. For some reason, we've got the option to pick up these guys. I'm not exactly sure how that's supposed to work. They're running away. They should be. Look how much bigger than them we are as well. We've got quite a lot of heft behind us. Well, they're going to run away and be annoying, so I might as well pick up all of these bones around here. So let's just click on this one to go and pick it up. Hopefully we're going to unlock a few more interesting parts that we can put onto our creature. I would eventually like to unlock some more parts in terms of the legs and stuff. Maybe, though, we'll keep it as a big worm. I'm not really sure. I kind of like having things a bit different. Legs are overrated anyway. Who needs legs? Well, we'll have a snack as well, because as it gets us DNA, we might as well. And it's going to give us three more DNA, which is pretty damn good. Let's do it again. Oh no, it doesn't give us that much DNA. I don't know why it said that we got that. Why did we... So do we only get DNA from these plants? We must do. Interesting. Well, we're going for the carnivore, so we should probably avoid eating all those plants. Are they back? Where are they? I can hear them. Oh no, there's a guy over here. What is he? An alpha thistles. Okay, he's a bit tough. I think he's got a bit too much health and probably a bit too much in terms of uh, friendly support over there to actually attack them yet. We've got a new pair of feet, which isn't very helpful. We'd like some new hands, maybe, and some new mouths. But the only way we're going to do this is by wiping out alphas of packs and also by picking up all of these uh, parts over here. And there's actually another dudas over here. We, I, I think we're going to go for the charge next time, so we're going to need those little horn things that you can unlock. So let's do this. Hello there, dudas. Let's do it. Strike him. Strike him down like the god you are. We are far too slow. Oh, my God. We really need to speed up. Maybe even a flying ability might be quite cool, because apparently flying has been increased as well, the fly speed in this game, so it might be a good idea. Okay, so let's just keep going for this one. And if not, we can go over to this nest over here instead, and maybe make a few more enemies. Because that's what you've got to do in this game. You've got to make enemies to advance. Or friends. And I think I'm sick of following them, so let's just go for these ones instead. Two jast Jarsters. What is that? Two ja Jastara. To Jastara. Good to know. I really can't speak, can I? Okay. Well, this seems like a good place to leave today's episode. I mean, we've made quite a bit of progress. We've made our fantastic creature. And we're getting a few more DNA points in here. We're going to be, next time, going further into the creature stage, evolving our creature even more. Might as well get these things over here whilst we're here. And adding a few more parts on here. Now, by no means am I saying that I don't want any more suggestions as to how we can change this creature. 
I want to change the creature a lot. This is a good baseline and everything, but I feel like there's a, so much more that we can add on and change about it that can incorporate your ideas. So as always, be sure to leave your suggestions in the comment section below as to the items or maybe the traits or characteristics that you'd like my Xeno Derp to have. I still really like the idea of having a bit of a backstory for our creature. God, look how overpopulated this nest is. This is crazy. Oh, this lady, she's looking at me, this man even. Well, yeah, I think we need a bit of a backstory because we were saying about how we were possibly a genetic experiment that was dropped on this planet to see how long it would take us to become the primary hunter, the primary force to take over the world. But let me know. If you enjoyed the episode, also leave ratings of any kind because that particularly helps the series and encourages me to make more. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, awkward, awkward goodbye. Awkward.